Guided by the Silk Road spirit of peace and cooperation, openness and inclusiveness, mutual learning and mutual benefit, the International Tourism Alliance of Silk Road Cities has been established. A multitude of government representatives, diplomats based in China, industry experts and elites from various countries converged in the Jingdezhen, Jiangxi province, an ancient city with the millennium-old legacy renowned as the world's porcelain capital to witness the alliance's launch ceremony. Officials assert that this initiative aims to further promote international humanistic exchanges and cooperation under the Belt and Road Initiative. The alliance aims to create a platform for renowned tourism cities around the world to promote, cooperate and communicate with each other, fostering a spirit of sharing and mutual benefit. A total of 58 cities from 26 countries have joined the alliance. Foreign representatives view this alliance as a fresh start for tourism cooperation among Belt and Road countries. They think such alliances are very important for tourism. They make destinations visible, but they also encourage peace and good cooperation between different countries. I expect this to bring more attention to the region and also to the alliance in general. In conjunction with the launching ceremony, an international forum on culture and tourism development of Silk Road cities was conducted where foreign representatives explore diverse avenues for innovative development within the culture and tourism industry. Today we are doing a big step uh, to globalization of tourism. I think the Belt and Road gives us that opportunity uh, to meet other 30 countries and build it all together creating a new alternative for investment, for financing. Uh, it gives hope. Tourism needs new things. The event also marked the establishment of the Jing De Jun Declaration, which embodies the principles of extensive consultation, joint contributions and shared benefits, welcoming all nations that recognize the Silk Road spirit.